Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. <laughs> and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Start and I sing, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Learn to work and play. Little kids couldn't camp out like us. They'd be too scared. Ah! When I was a kid, lots of things used to scare me. Like the dark. <sighs> I was scared of the dark too, but I was more scared of Binky Barnes. I'd really like a piece of that cookie. Please! Well, at least I'm not scared of the dark anymore. I was once scared of an old movie. Navy versus the Night World. <laughs> <laughs> you were scared of that? <laughs> ah! Arthur's first sleepover. <laughs> Your sleepover isn't until Saturday. Come in and eat breakfast. <laughs> What's so funny? A farmer claims he saw a spaceship over Elwood City. Really? It had a glowing light and sounded like an intergalactic kazoo. The first person to get a picture of a spaceship will get a lot of money. I don't believe in UFOs. That's because there's never been a real picture of one. I saw a light in the sky last night, too. Maybe it was the spaceship. Hey, Buster, we have to plan for my sleepover. My mom says I can't come, Arthur. What? You're my best friend. I can't have a party without you. She's worried I'll be scared because of the spaceship. You've got to come. I'll ask my mom to call your mom. And tell her he's not a baby. Nobody believes in spaceships. I saw flashing lights from one today. Honey, that was the pizza shop sign. Hello. Hi, Bitsy. I'm calling about Arthur's sleepo... Yeah, well... well I... Yes, I... Uh-huh. She said yes. Yes! Way to go, Mom! All right! If I spent all night in a tent, I'd definitely see a spaceship. You sure you won't be scared? Absolutely, positively. Good night, Buster. <laughs> Good night. I'm here. Hey, cool PJs. Recto! Unguardable, unguardable. Hey, you guys, guys are aliens. That was scary. Hmm. <laughs> 
your problem. Your geothermic sequencer needs recalibration. Arthur, Mom and Dad say you have to let me come to your sleepover. Ah! I knew he'd have nightmares with all this talk of spaceships. Arthur, you can't bring that camping. It's okay. I have an extra long extension cord. Wouldn't you guys rather look up at the stars and trade cool stories? I guess. How do we know he's our real dad and not an alien who took over his body? DW, it's time to clean up the mess in your room. But Dad, I'm looking for UFO. Now! One, two... Sounds like the real dad to me. Here it is! Ah, the great outdoors. Wouldn't the TV reach out here? My dad says we don't need TV because we have the stars and stuff. D.W., no, you aren't invited. Why not? Because. Because why? Because, because. Because, because why? Because, because, because. Because, because, because why? Because, 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 because. You'd get scared in the dark. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. Who do you think's gonna win? D.W., come inside. But, Mom, spaceships. D.W.? Okay. <laughs> but if Earth gets conquered, don't blame me. That flashlight was here before. You don't need a flashlight. It's a full moon. Don't worry. I brought my lantern and extra batteries. Let's go, then. It's getting late. If you see any huge, powerful, hungry, sharp-toothed, man-eating aliens, would you take a picture for me, please? I, uh, well, I, I gotta go. Ow! 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 Watch my head, Ow! Ow! Hey! <sighs> the tent looked a lot bigger from outside. Maybe if we all sit down. Much improved. Got him. Got him. Need him. Got him. Mmm. Buster, pass the chips. There's none left. Shh. Whatever it is, it has flippers. <gasps> ah! Okay, guys. Bedtime. Into your sleeping bags. Hey, your foot's in my own. Watch my head. Time to tell ghost stories. Uh, why don't we play Sloppy Sixes? What's that? It's this super cool game where... No, that! I don't hear any footsteps. Because it's not a person. It's a spaceship! Aliens! I know where that spaceship came from. Planet D.W. <laughs> you too scared to stay outside? <laughs> no, I wanted to give you your camera back. We're going to sleep. D.W., Arthur, go to bed. <laughs> She'll be asleep soon. Now we need some things.
There's nothing there. Sorry, I must have dreamed it. I hope you don't think that you fooled me, because you didn't fool me at all. It seems she's unmasked our little charade, Arthur. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> could it... could it be... Stay with us. Really? Thanks! Go fish. This is boring. I'm going to bed. <sighs> this isn't boring, is it? No way! Give me all your threes. Go fish. Second grade sleepover tonight? Second grade sleepover. It's just like Arthur's first sleepover. We're actually going to sleep in the school and it's going to be wicked fun tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually sleeping in the classrooms. Everybody's excited about it. This is the camp. We're outside on, in the playground, camping in a tent. We're writing postcards on the side of the tent. We're eating snacks at the campfire. And we're reading all of the Arthur books. I think I can remember how to get home. Love, Arthur. Aliens! She screamed. She screamed so loud it woke up everyone in the neighborhood. When mother and father went out to check on the boys, they were sleeping like little angels. After mother and father went back into the house, it was another story. over, pal. It's time to put up my new calendar. <laughs> when you look really hard, you see a 3D picture. <laughs> well, we have all year to work on it. My mom and dad have always said I'm too young to stay up till midnight on New Year's Eve. But three years ago, I tried. And I fell asleep at 8 o'clock and missed it. Then two years ago, I stayed awake longer. Till 10.17. And last year, I found a way guaranteed to keep me awake till midnight. problem this year. I'm not staying up at all. Wait! Come back! Arthur's New Year's Eve. <laughs> Our 
Arthur, you're supposed to be making your bed. I was! Pal started it! Your father and I are going out tonight for New Year's Eve. How come I can't go to the New Year's Eve party? Grandma Thora's babysitting. You guys will have a great time. I get to stay up till midnight, right? You're too young, D.W. How can I always be too young? It's like I never get any older. What if I'm trapped in some kind of time warp and I'll never get any older? Is that my fault? Arthur, you have our permission to stay up until midnight this year. That's okay. I don't want to. He must be sick. I'll stay up for him. You can stay up when you're Arthur's age, D.W. Stay up. But I'll never be Arthur's age. He's always going to be three years older than me. <laughs> Why don't you want to stay up? What are you really up to, Arthur? Why should I stay up? What's there to see? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> don't you want to see if there's nothing to see? I'm too mature to care anymore. Yeah. Right. Mom! What does mature mean? <laughs> Hi, Arthur! Are you gonna stay up to watch the green flash tonight? The what? You've never stayed up on New Year's Eve, have you? Why bother? to see the green flash. When it turns midnight on New Year's Eve, there's the most amazing flash of green light that fills the sky. <laughs> and that means a new year has successfully begun. Wow. If there's no green flash, it has to stay the same year for another whole year. See ya! Happy New Year! Maybe. Wow! I'd like to see that green flash. There's no green flash, Arthur. There's not? Only one thing happens at midnight on New Year's Eve. Three, two, one! Do it! Now! Now! At exactly midnight, Everyone has to throw last year's calendar away because they become officially illegal. And you better make sure you do it, too, before the New Year's police check on you. At least that's what I hear. I hope Grandma Thor knows about the New Year's police. Are you goofy? There are no New Year's police. You've never stayed up to see New Year's come in, have you? Have you? I've always been pretty busy. Take it from me. I've seen the deal go down. Here's what happens. At midnight, this old guy with last year's date on him comes out. Then this kid in a diaper appears. Then they have this big wrestling match. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, too, because even though the old guy is weak, he fights dirty. If the baby wins, the new year begins. But if the old guy wins, the baby has to go live with a groundhog, and there's six more weeks of winter. Wrestling? That's the funniest thing I ever heard. Have you ever stayed up till midnight? No, but my cousin told me where the grown-ups all go on New Year's Eve. They all go to this big meeting where they talk about the rotten things they did to kids all year. I told my kids that spinach is good for them, but everyone knows we just like to watch the funny faces they make when they eat it. Yeah! <laughs> and they plan new awful things to make kids do next year. Okay, everyone, do we all agree that no allowance shall be increased this year? Hey, 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 hey. 
That's better than your theory last year about the aliens. Who do you think is in charge of the big meeting? Huh? Ow! 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 Why are you pinching yourself? I'm practicing ways to stay awake until midnight. Watch this one. Ice. That's brisk. Want to try? Oh, that's right. You're not staying up till midnight. Yes, I am. That's great. We'll keep each other awake. You're not old enough. Who needs you? I've got plenty of ice. Please, please, please. D.W. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I expect you to be on your best behavior for Grandma Thora. Why are you looking at me? Bye. Have a nice meeting. Huh? Oh, I... I mean... Uh, New Year's. I almost spilled the beans. Excited about midnight, Arthur? Yeah, I can't wait. Did anybody notice I'm on my best behavior? When you wake up, D.W., it'll be a whole new year. I will not fall asleep. 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 Okay, go. Oh, hey! Oh, good one! Got you, got you. No! no. No, you don't. <gasps> I'm thirsty. Go fish. Huh? I'm still thirsty. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Arthur. This is just a practice run, but let's make it good. <laughs> I had a nightmare polar bears were chasing me around the North Pole. Come over here, honey. Now that I'm up, I might as well stay up for midnight. Sure. Mm, this is the most fun New Year's Eve ever. Why don't you close your eyes? I'll wake you up if you fall asleep. Arthur, wake up, honey. He's sound asleep. It's coming! It's coming! Was that it? That was it? Yes, D.W. Happy New Year! Hmm. What a gym! I'm going to bed. Huh? Oh no! I missed it! Arthur! I saw New Year's and you didn't. It was great! Big explosions and giant mules jumping off cliffs into the ocean. Wow! It was fantastic! Night. It's all over? It's not over. It's just beginning. I missed it all. I didn't see any of the stuff that New Year's is all about. As long as you remember all the terrific things you did the past year, honey, you didn't miss a thing. That's what New Year's Eve is really about.
and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Start and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Learn to work and play And get along with each other What a wonderful kind